Hi there, my name is Kendrick and welcome to Travel and Live Free. In this video, we're going to talk about credit cards in Canada that you can use to get Priority Pass card and that video is going to come up right now. So the first two cards on the list that you can use to get a Priority Pass card, which again you can use to access lounges, are the American Express Platinum cards. So there is the Personal Platinum card and the Business Platinum card. The Personal Platinum card has an annual fee of $699, while the Business Platinum card has an annual fee of $499. Both these cards will allow you to have unlimited Priority Pass access. So if you are someone that travels a lot and you want to go and use that Priority Pass lounge as much as you can, then these two cards is the best one for you. However, back in 2020 and even in 2021, a lot of people got shut down by American Express, including myself, and because of that, we can't get the Priority Pass card anymore in Canada. We can still get it if we get the American Express card in the US, but in Canada, we can't get it anymore. In that case, we are left with no choice but to get credit cards from other bank issuer and hope that those other cards will also allow us to get Priority Pass access. With Scotiabank, you can get the Scotiabank Passport Infinite Visa card, and this card has an annual fee of $139. And with that annual fee, you actually can get six Priority Pass lounge access, which I think is pretty good if you are someone that just goes on vacation every year. And because of that, that will give you enough opportunity to stay in a Priority Pass lounge, get yourself a nice food to eat, relax, get some water before you can continue on your trip. Now, I do think this card is good for that purpose just because you also get a decent sign-up bonus. So besides the Priority Pass lounge access, you can get the points that you can use to help you save money on travel. And if you sign up through Great Korean Rebates, you can oftentimes reduce the amount of annual fee that you pay because you're gonna get a rebate later on. And the rebate do fluctuate. Sometimes it's $60, sometimes it's $120. So depending on the time that you apply for this card, on Great Canadian Rebates, that's how much you will get in terms of a rebate. I'll put the Great Canadian Rebates link down below and check it out and see what the current rebate is at. The next card on the list is the CIBC Aventura Visa Infinite card. This card does have an annual fee of $120 and they oftentimes give you a sign up bonus as well. And for this card, you can get four visits to a Priority Pass Lounge every year, which again is good if you are either traveling very infrequently, just like once a year, or if you're someone that likes to collect Aventura points. Another card with CIBC is the CIBC Airplan Infinite Visa Privilege card. This card does have a massive annual fee of $599 and you get six Priority Pass Lounge access. On top of that, they typically give you a big sign up bonus as well, usually about 75,000 Airplan points. Now this card is just okay in my opinion, just because that annual fee is so high. If you can get the Amex card, then get the Amex card instead. And if you can't get the Amex card, I think it's probably better for you to get multiple of the lower tier cards from other card issuer because this annual fee is quite high for me to justify getting this card. The only time I would consider it is if I'm very close to using those airplane points to book at a first class or long business class flight and that 75,000 points is all I need, then in that case, I might bite the bullet and eat that cost. But otherwise, I don't think it's worth it. The next card on the list is the BMO Eclipse Visa Infinite card. Now, this card is just like the CIBC Airplan Visa Infinite Privilege card where the annual fee is a staggering $499 and you get six priority pass lounge access with this card. And I think that annual fee is a little bit too high in my opinion. As well, BMO is actually not the best credit card company to go with when it comes to earning travel points. So I think this one is definitely not a good one for most people to get. And finally, we have the BMO World Elite MasterCard. And for this card, there's an annual fee of $150 and four priority pass lounge access per year. And I think it's better to get the Scotiabank card because with that card, the annual fee is lower. You get more sign up bonus. You get more priority pass lounge access and there's no foreign transaction fee when you use that credit card abroad. So as you can see, it's a much superior card to this BMO card. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave your comments below, and don't forget to sign up to our Travel and Free newsletter where you can get a 10-step cheat sheet on how to travel around the world. You'll also get the latest tips and strategies on how to save money on travel for Canadians, how to go on around the world adventure travel for Canadians, and how to travel to get more freedom in your life as a Canadian. You can sign up for the newsletter in the description below. Until next time, I'll see you then.